Hello and welcome to How to Design Puzzle Boxes Video 7. In this video, we're going to discuss how the latch and locking component is designed. So last time we went over how this lid was made and now it has an extra piece that's going to lock into place here. So let's actuate this and see how all these parts fit together. So the first thing happens is the lid is going to close down into this new latch. And then next what's going to happen is you're going to be closing that key into the component so it's actually going to go into three pieces, which we'll go into in a minute. Then next, what you're going to do is you're going to slide it over to lock it into place. And then the last thing that's going to happen is there's a little groove that's in here. And that's what's going to actually be holding it a little bit more. Like so. And that's what the key looks like. Just so you're aware of what it looks like. But essentially, the way that this works is it's being held in place by three components here. So if we go to the view and do a quick section view to take a look at what that is, it'll give you a better idea of how that's illustrated. So essentially how I designed it is it's going to be held in place by this latch part, which I still have to figure out how to hold into place, uh, the wall, and then the lid is going to be held in place up from these two pieces. There's a little bit of a gap, about a sixteenth of an inch, it looks like more here. But that's how this piece is going to be held into place. The next thing you're going to notice is there's a chamfer on this latch portion. And there's a reason for that, and I'm going to talk about that right now. So, the reason why that's there is if I suppress this lid feature for a second, as this opens up, you'll see it gets closer to this latch. And what I was finding is it was interfering right about here. So when I created this sh chamfer here, it just gives that extra little bit of gap when it opens up. And that's the main reason why that's there. Otherwise, I wouldn't need it. The other way I could have solved this is I could have done a chamfer on the uh, component here, but I decided to do it on the latch box itself. So let's take a look at how I designed the latch and the key and go from there. So here you can see the latch itself, the latch box, and essentially it is just derived from knowing the, how much distance I need and a little gap on this end and I needed to make sure it was wide enough to hold the new latch portion on the lid. The main thing that I needed to focus on was this keyway design. Now technically speaking I could make this a little bit deeper so that the key when it's fully down is flush but it, that is purely preference. For my design, I decided for aesthetics reasons, they're going to be in line. But essentially how I designed this is I chose an arbitrary number of a quarter of an inch and I added a 30 second to the square on both sides. And that's just to make it so that the key fits in easier on the way in to hold all the parts. I then decided to make the groove here an eighth of an inch plus 20 thou, so a little bit less than a 30 second. Once I completed that, the next thing I did is I actually went and I made another component. I made the width of it the same as the width of the keyway on the other side. And then what I did is I just made it flush with the same part. So I could have made it a little bit deeper again for the key to be flush. And then that's how I made this little keyway locking component. So it's kind of like a sliding latch, uh, like on a um, fence, door, all that kind of stuff. So then next what I did is I designed the lid to have this fall down a certain depth and I copied that keyway design into the latch. I copied it into the wall in the same dimension and then I made the key. So the way that I designed this key is I made sure to have the components to be a quarter of an inch high. On this side I made it a little bit bigger so that's three eighths of an inch plus a sixteenth. This is all arbitrary numbers. I can make it look fancy if I want, which I may do down the road. And the last thing I did is I made this, I measured it to be 0.5625. I added a 16th to that, which gave me 5 eighths. And then I extruded the whole thing out by a quarter of an inch. So this is quarter by quarter by quarter. And that's what allows me to fit it into the opposing side of the box here and it makes it easy enough to have it go in and out of the whole component in the opening and then slide and come down. So 
That's essentially how I designed this locking latch portion. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, this is Tyler with 3D Printer Store, and I hope you have a great day.